Hey guys! Last Sunday I was down in London to visit Yarnporium, which is a new vendor marketplace, a yarn festival, organised by Rachel and Alison from Yarn in the City, uh, which is a really good podcast if you don't listen to it already. So I it was a two day event, uh, it was on Saturday and Sunday, they had a vendor marketplace both days and they also had a, a selection of workshops taking place both days. So I managed to get there on the Sunday, I've got a lot of footage to show you of the event but before that I wanted to show you what I purchased which was too much, but um, I had a good shop. So first things first, so I'm, um, you may already have noticed um, on my blog, etc., that I'm a big fan of Pom Pom Quarterly Magazine. I subscribed to the um, print and digital magazine and they had a stand at Yarn Porium um, and they were selling these really great natural dyeing theme um, postcards. So you get the pack, so there's four, so there's Madder, uh, let me have a look, so there's French Marigold, an indigo and finally the black tea they're really nice so I'm, I might frame them or I'll do something with them anyway so that's a small purchase first purchase um, also from the pom pom quarterly stand so they had some um, guests dropping by for book signings during the weekend one of which was uh, Stephen West himself and he was there uh, just chatting, saying hello, doing some knitting, of course, and uh, signing copies of his new book, West Knits, Best Knits, uh, which is a book of his short patterns. So, this is the book. Um, yeah, the book's, I mean, if you like Stephen West patterns, I highly recommend this book. It's got a great selection of some of the most popular short pa patterns. Um, so, I think next, I have have previously knit his... Uh, unicorn parallelograms um, and next I'm gonna when I get a chance knit the doodler which was one of the mystery knit alongs I think it was last year's mystery knit along but yes Stephen was really nice and signed my book for me very cute so that was second purchase then also um, dropping in to um, speak to people and um, to sell yarn was Rachel Atkinson Atkinson from Daughter of a Shepherd. So um, I bought one skein of Rachel's yarn, which should be enough for a hat or some mitts. And uh, I'll show you the tag. So you may well have already heard about um, Daughter of a Shepherd, and um, Rachel blogged about the project. So her father is a shepherd and his yarn was going to waste basically. Um, it wasn't bringing enough money selling to the British War Board to be worth the effort of um, shipping it to them. So Rachel decided that they could do better basically. Um, and it, it's as Warbles flock. So she had that flock um, produced into a yarn. This is the second batch of that yarn that, um, that this skein is from. Um, but yeah, I definitely recommend following along with Rachel on her blog and social media to see what she's up to next. She's recently stocked some additional products as well, as well as her own, um, her own yarn. So it was really nice to meet Rachel in person and I bought a skein of yarn. Um, and then the other purchases are yarny purchases too. So I bought two kits. So I've got a fine time to make up, but I couldn't resist. So um, you may already be well aware of Donna Smith's pattern, the Barble Hat, which was the free pattern for Shetland Wool Week last year. So I didn't knit it at the time, um, but I went and had a look on the Midwinter Yarn stand and they had this kit, um, which contains, so it's got the Barble Hat pattern, get it out and show you, and then it has uh, wool, well, it has the yarn and it's a um, Finnish wool yarn. Um, to make the hat so that's the barber hat pattern if you're not familiar with it and here's my yarns to make that up so I'm going to try and make that up this winter and quite a quick project really once I get started so and then finally one more kit which was so this was from Pearl Alpaca Designs and they were one of the stands that in advance of attending that I um, was quite excited to visit. So if I show you, they recently released a new um, collection of patterns um, and associated kits um, and they're just really beautiful designs and they're really wonderfully photographed. Um, so this is the pattern that I bought the kit for. So it's a little tank top. 
very cute and again so it should be quite a quick a quick knit um, and the yarn um, Pearl Alpaca designs yarn is British Alpaca yarn so I got I, I went with exactly the same very unimaginatively went with exactly the same colour scheme as um, in the modelled shots so I've got all the yarn to knit that and then um, while I was on their stand I also um, purchased another one of their patterns which I'll knit with some existing stash yarn it shouldn't take very much and this is a really sweet little knitted skirt so that's a modelled shot really cute so yeah I'm in the middle of um, a couple of jumpers that I've been knitting for some time and have been going a bit slow so as soon as they're finished which I need to pick up speed on these are my next projects so now I'll leave you with some footage of the um, marketplace enjoy and definitely recommend checking out your Emporium next year Fingers follow 